Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to the Madden NFL 16 playthrough. It is time for the off season. We are here. It is time for Super Bowl 50. We obviously aren't there. We ended up getting knocked out, of course, by the Green Bay Packers in the divisional round of the playoffs. They played a very, very good game. If we go to the news here, I would like to see exactly who's going to be in the Super Bowl. It looks like it's going to be Ravens and Packers in the Super Bowl. Who's going to win? Well, based on, I'm hoping that the Packers win because they won't be so bad. If I can, at least I can be like, yeah, I lost to the guys that won the Super Bowl. They were the best team that year. They had the MVP and Aaron Rodgers. Like, they were just so good. Nothing I could have done. So let's go ahead and simulate the next week here, which is going to be, I guess, the first week of the offseason. Now, I don't know too much about how the offseason is going to work here. I'm interested to see uh, my role as a player. So I'm assuming uh, it's going to be pretty limited as to what I could possibly do in the offseason, but um, still going to be interested to see. And into the sunset. Wow, Tom Brady, one of the greatest late picks of all time, has retired. Peyton Manning also announced his retirement? What? Wait, whoa. Okay, so Steve Smith Sr. has departed. Who won the Super Bowl? Who won the Super Bowl? Was it him? Did Steve Smith see, did he at least win the Super Bowl before he left? His last game was in the Super Bowl regardless because it was uh, them... Versus the Packers. Tom Brady is retiring after 16 seasons. Peyton Manning is retiring after 18 seasons. The Baltimore Ravens reign supreme this year in the NFL with a Super Bowl win over the Green Bay Packers. 38 to 17. Wow. So Steve Smith Sr. has a great way for him to end his very long career. Very, very nice. Andre Johnson has retired after one year with the Colts. Oh, wow. Charles, wasn't that a career-ending injury? Unceremoniously forced to retire from the NFL. What? They still have, have career-ending injuries in here? Cleveland has hired Harold Tibbetts to continue to get the most... All right, so Cleveland's fired their coach already. Sounds about right. Seahawks released uh, Kerry Williams. Titans cut that guy. All right, let's check uh, my own stories here, which I suppose is going to be like, hey, Joe Nero practiced right before they lost uh, in the divisional round of the playoffs, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's, like, any stories that would be... Any, any more interesting than this. I, I suppose a lot I suppose a lot of the big ones he already announced. Like Aaron Cooper is my favorite player to watch. He's gonna be part of the draft, of course. Alright, so that's so uh, that's interesting. The Ravens won the Super Bowl, beat the Packers. Steve Smith Sr. Uh, won the Super Bowl, then ends up retiring. That's pretty cool. Before we go and continue on here into the postseason, or into the I keep calling it the postseason, but the offseason, uh, let's look at the stats one more time of Joe Nero's rookie season because of course this is this team's gonna be changing. You know, people are gonna get cut, people are gonna get re-signed, people are gonna get drafted, you know, stuff is gonna happen. And so this team is not gonna be the same as what it was for my rookie season, which is kind of disappointing. That's kind of the whole point of this episode to kind of reflect back on the season. End up playing 842 downs, all 16 games. Uh, ended up having a pretty sad uh, touchdown to complete, touchdown to interception ratio. I wasn't happy about that. And hopefully we can change that with the next season. I thought we did pretty good passing yards wise. The rush game was obviously not amazing. Um, I wasn't overly happy with uh, our running backs this season. They both were averaging under four yards a carry. I had five touchdowns, 500 yards. That was kind of nice, but. Um, the running game was not amazing. Was not amazing. Receiving wise, Jordan Reed. I hope he stays. Uh, I hope that for whatever reason Jordan Reed doesn't get cut from the team or traded or you know something happening because he was my favorite target. And I hope they see him next season. Uh, Deshaun Jackson. I hope he can come back. I hope Deshaun Jackson stays with me for another year because I would like to get him more involved next season. Pierre Garcon. I feel bad for that guy. He barely got any catches. He only had two touchdowns. He had under 400 yards as my number two receiver. That was sad. My slot receiver who was. Um, Oh wow! They got rid of him. They've already gotten rid of him. They they've they removed it since since I guess they've already had, like cut him. He's a free agent. Andre Roberts. He was my number three receiver, uh, both on the depth chart as well as in receiving yards. He was actually ahead of uh, Pierre Garcon. Interesting, interesting. So. I suppose they're actually, they've already begun the process of cutting people. Is Kai Forbath still here? He is. All right. So I don't think I actually have too much things I can actually do here. I'm pretty positive. Uh, I mean, I can simulate, uh, I can start my game prep, I suppose. So is this like off season workouts? All right. So everything's locked except for earn player XP. So I would like to earn XP every single week of the playoffs. That's nice. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. So give myself a little bit of XP there. Isn't a ton. I'm hoping I get a bunch of XP randomly for, you know, going through all the offseason stuff. So, uh, looks like we're going to advance, uh, until next week. We're going to go one week at a time, but we're going to continue to check, like, what changes have actually happened to the team, I think is going to be the idea here. 
All right, so this is going to be stage two of the offseason. Wow, all right. So they're just, they're not even really talking about how things are working. Okay, so we're doing free agent bidding right now. So across the league, the top free agents are accepting offers from multiple teams in the hope that they can plug some holes before the draft. All right, so let's check here. Uh, go to the news. Uh, do we have any news? Are they still talking about the people that got cut or that, that retired? Um, oh, actually, no. I could, Okay, so instead of going to the news, we'll go to the transaction report. And we'll see if uh, West Volker retires. Wow. Wow. It looks like there's a lot of people here. Daryl Smith, West Volker, Steve Smith Sr. There's just a lot of people. Julius Peppers retired. Trent Cool, Brent Gore, Andre Johnson, Adam Vinatieri. What did I do? Okay, that's that's undersigned. Uh, this is. I want to go back to all here because there's a lot of people that retired here. Matt Hasselback, Shane Graham, Heath Miller. What? All of these people. No, Jason Hatcher retires. He was like the number one guy for sacks for us. That stinks, actually. Okay, so I guess we'll just go, I guess we'll just go signings, huh? We'll go signings. We'll see who gets who. All right, so Brown's got a new head coach. Rams got a head coach. Packers got a head coach. Alfred Blue has signed with uh, with Baltimore. Uh, a lot of head coaching changes, huh? All right, so let's go. Let's just check out us specifically and see if uh, anything's been happening with the Washington Redskins. No transactions. No, okay, wait, 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 wait. We gotta go back again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This may be going slow, but, um, you know, sit back and relax. It's gonna be a long episode. Uh, we're gonna go to the Redskins. Gonna go to drafted, traded, released. All right, so we have released Adam Hayward. We were, how do we release Niles Paul and Andre Roberts? I liked both of them a lot. I really liked both of them a lot. We lost our strong safety. Uh, that was a receiver. Oh, that was in the preseason a while back. So in the 2015 offseason, three changes we made. We bought, we released Adam Hayward, uh, Niles Paul, and Andre Roberts. I want Niles Paul and Andre Roberts both back. I like both of them. All right. Well, if I have some game prep I can do, so I remember to do my game prep every single week, which involves me pressing a couple of buttons. <laughs> Doesn't involve really a whole lot, to be honest, but um, it gives me a little bit of XP that I can spend at the end of the offseason. So I'll definitely take that. So let's sim to stage two with free agent signings. Come on, guys. There's got to be some big name free agent out there that we can try and add to the team. Like Calvin Johnson. Give me Calvin Johnson. <laughs> How cool would that be? All right. Uh, so instead of viewing the news and such, uh, we're just going to go to the transaction log here. Uh, da -da 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 -da, and we're going to go up to the Redskins and see if we got anybody. Uh, Jason Hatcher is retired. Okay. So we re-signed our, our defensive tackle. Uh, Terrace Knight into a contract. We have franchise tagged Ryan Kerrigan. It doesn't look like we signed anybody yet. Okay, so we've gotten no signing so far. So, so far, we've lost my backup tight end and my slot receiver, who in my offense, the slot receiver gets more uh, gets more targets than the uh, number two receiver. Pierre Gar like, Andre Roberts had way better season than Pierre Garçon did. And Pierre Garçon was my number two receiver as compared to Andre Roberts, who was my number three receiver on the depth chart anyway. So, that's interesting. Um, all right, stage three. Stage three. I wonder who we're going to draft. You know, I mean, that's always interesting to see who we're getting a draft. Like, what's going to be happening? God, okay, so now overvalued players. Use caution when drafting overvalued players too high. These players can turn out to be a bust once you get them out there on the field. Well, I'm not the one doing the drafting, or am I? That'd be fun. I went. I, I, the Redskins moved to fill the right defensive end by signing Chandler Jones to a five-year deal worth fifty-six million. Is Chandler Jones good? Honestly, I, I I'm sorry. Like I, I'm usually very good about this kind of stuff. But I don't know who Chandler Jones is. Did he play for New England? I I feel like he played for New England. I could be wrong about that. Well, okay. Let's just see some of these things here. So I'm looking for any big names. Any big name signings? Packers got Mike Tolbert. That's just what they need. More options. Uh. Mainly defensive people, it looks like. I'm just wondering about like big offensive guys. Uh, th 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 we signed middle linebacker Nate Irving. We got strong safety Robert Blanton. Uh, basically, we got a bunch of defensive players, which uh, you know don't affect our offense. Our offense needs some help. It really does. It really, really does. Uh, so let's do our game prep and then advance the week. I don't know how the draft is going to work. Can we watch the draft? Uh, am I going to be able to see the players that we got, where they're from? How they're going to work. I just hope our draft players aren't ugly. And what I mean by that is I'm sure you guys have played Madden as well. 
can feel the same way. I hate when they draft a player and by default they look stupid. Like, they have an amber visor and they have two gloves, but the gloves don't match. They randomly have, like, a, like an armband on one arm, but not on the other. And, like, they just look weird with, like, their equipment. I hope we don't have, like, any ugly players. <laughs> um... We're going to simulate here the floor. I don't know if we're actually to the draft yet or if we're still in the process of signing free agents. Uh, diamonds in the rough. As coaches spend time scouting, they uncover players they feel are diamonds in the rough. Overlook players that will perform above their projected worth. So next stage is going to be the draft. Let's do my game prep real quick and see if anyone actually end up getting signed. Let's see here. Got to do my game prep. I'm, uh, I'm getting a decent amount of XP here. Which is kind of nice. I'll be able to up my accuracy and stuff like that a little bit more. Maybe even some traits, depending on if I get like a big chunk or something along those lines. So, uh, it looks like Br Bruce Irvin got signed there. But real quick, though, there's a place I can look at the rosters, yeah? W manage uh, my team rosters. I want to check Chandler Jones. I'm fairly positive he's actually a very good player that we got. And he is. All right, so we got a very good player at Syracuse, 26 years old, 91 overall. That's actually pretty great. And Daryl Young is a 95 overall. Okay, so our defense looks to be pretty good. Jordan Reed looks like he definitely had a bump up in his overall after that last season, up to a nice 91 overall. And uh, all right. Wait, I, did I actually check the transaction report? I don't think I did. That was the whole point here. <laughs> Let's check the Brent transaction report. And uh, see if Washington got anybody. Redskins signed halfback CJ Anderson. Is he going to be like the new starter? Is he going to be a five-year, $36 million contract? Are we replacing Alfred Morris? Are we replacing Alfred Morris? We got cornerback Alan Ball. Wide receiver Jarrett Boykin. Is that my new slot receiver? Oh, this is cool. I like when we sign people on offense. New targets, new people to throw to, new people playing around with, to play around with. Um... Let's go to my team and check the roster. Are we benching Alfred Morris? Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Al wow. Wait, we, we got rid of Alfred. Wait, where is Alfred Morris? It didn't say we cut him. What happened to Alfred? Do we trade him? Did he get cut? CJ Anderson is 88 overall, but he's, he's only 25 years old. He's on our... What? What? Who's Kerwin Williams? Silas isn't going to be my, my backup brain back anymore. I like Silas. I like Silas. He's good people. Who are my wide receivers now? Wow, Deshaun's overall dropped like crazy. I don't have very good overall wide receivers. That's kind of concerning. What happened to Alfred Morris? Where is Alfred Morris? So how we're going to have to do this, uh, it's the easiest way to search. Uh, we're going to go to the... Uh, they're not going to allow me to see the overall NFL rosters, are they? Okay. All right. All right, we're gonna do it. We're, we're, we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it this way. He'll be there. Where is Alfred? Did Alfred retire? Did he disappear from the face of the world? Like what happened? He's not on Denver, which is where C.J. Anderson came from. Where did you go, Alfred? No, Sean Marino is playing for uh, Cleveland. That's interesting. Cleveland has Isaiah Crowell, Terrence West, Darren McBadden, Duke Johnson, and their <laughs> Sean Marino. They have a lot of cool running backs. I like a lot of those guys. Uh, Alfred Morris went to Arizona. Alfred. Did we cut him after that horrible season he had? I don't know. He's an 84 overall, so we actually got an improvement because he's Anderson's younger. He's younger and a better overall. That's freaking nuts. Like, hold on. We need to go to transactions. We, do we trade? Like, I'm so confused. How did this happen? How did this happen? We, we lost Alfred Morris. Traded? We didn't trade. We didn't release him. Like, retired? Position changed? It just doesn't show him. Whatsoever. It, 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 it did. I have no idea why Alfred Morris is no longer on our team. I don't know if he got traded. I'm assuming he got released and it's just not showing it. But <laughs> hey, it looks like the draft is going to be the end of the offseason. I don't know what happened. But CJ Anderson is in the backfield. Oh. Ooh, start the draft. Oh, I actually get to participate? Do I actually get to... Get to do some drafting? That's interesting if I get to choose the players in the draft. I think that'd be fun, actually. We'll develop ourselves. And I'll try and... Honestly, our defense is fine. I And I think I, of all people, know where our offense kind of lies and where we need help on the offense. So if I actually get to pick people in the draft, that'd be interesting. Let's, uh, let's do a quick check of the offensive line for uh, Washington. That's, like, the big people I want to focus on. So, okay. So we lost our big, scary left tackle. I forget his name. 
but he's no longer there. Uh, gosh, our offensive line is honestly terrible. It's terrible. It's overall awful. <laughs> Alright, so literally anybody on the offensive line would be good. Uh, also, wide receiver. Um, it's kind of what we need. So, start the NFL draft. This is cool. Simulate draft? I oh, I should I could be able to simulate, but I think it'd be more fun if you actually did the draft. I think it's more fun this way. All right, Jaguars are on the clock. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to skip ahead in the draft until our pick and then make our picks from there. Because going, you know, player or player by player by player by player is just really kind of silly. Although, is it really... Uh, a part of me wants to actually draft. A part of me wants to actually do the draft. Like, oh yeah, let's grab this guy. But then another part of me is like... It kind of defeats like the purpose. I'm a quarterback. I'm not an owner. I'm not a coach. I'm just a quarterback. So I think it's more interesting if we actually simulate every single pick. I mean, maybe we maybe we can simulate we sim to our pick and then simulate the pick that we get that way we can see them. Or maybe we should simulate the entirety of the draft. I think we'll simulate the entirety of the draft. Initially, I'm like, yeah, let's do the draft. But I, th I don't like knowing who we're going to get. I don't like making the choice of who we're going to get or anything like that. This draft is taking an absurdly long time to simulate. Uh, <laughs> boy, oh boy. I heard the, the announcers are still talking in the background. Like, oh, the Steelers are on the clock and all that. But um, it's obviously taking a very, very long time for them to actually get to the point where... Um, I can actually make my selection. All I was doing is simulating to my spot. Is it taking this long to simulate every single player? Because if so, that's kind of absurd. Kind of absurd, not going to lie. Wow, this really is taking a long time, huh? All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut forward in the video to when I can actually do something. I'll see you guys there. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The draft is now over. Let's go to game prep here, get, our, uh, get a little bit of XP. As we do, right? Get a little bit of XP developing ourselves, and uh, hopefully we get a little bit more. I don't know if I get any like bonus XP like at the end of the season or not, because right now it's uh, the next thing is to move on to the preseason. So I'm interested to see exactly what we can do with that. But right here we can see our rookie signings and see the contract details of those signings as to who we got. In the first round, we took a left tackle, Austin Gilbert from Wisconsin. I like it. We need a left tackle. We need a better lineman. Then we took Sam Nunley from Penn State, who is designed to be in the West Coast offense. He's 22 years old. I like it. I like it. Then we got a center, which uh, I guess oh, we had other linemen. Wow, we really worked on linemen. So we took three left tackles. <laughs> we, got we got DeAndre Jackson from Florida A&M. We have uh, Reggie Austin from Penn Maybe, they're, maybe they'll do like position changes and change these guys to fill out the rest of the positions here. Wait a minute. What is this James Forrest here? Who's this quarterback you took in the seventh round? What's this? James Forrest is coming for my job. He's gunning for me. Then Skylar Phillip here is uh, a punter that we got in the seventh round. And, of course, uh, Darby and Frazier here, uh, who's going to be a left end. So primarily we worked on the offensive line. We also got a wide receiver, which these are things I would like for them to actually uh, tinker around with. And that's kind of cool. Sam Nunley, Austin Gilbert, along with a bunch of these other guys. I'm hoping they turn out to be pretty good players for us. That would be awesome if that would work out for us. So uh, what we're actually going to go ahead and do now is i mean gosh i don't know what we're gonna do let's go to the news i suppose uh joe nero putting in time that's a, that's literally the top story right now because there's nothing else reports going for practice that joe nero uh continues to turn heads he's looking impressive take every snap he takes blah, 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 blah. all right let's see some pictures maybe uh getting stronger all right we tried to get a good draft uh, just as risk it's hope for washington left tackle austin gilbert there he is that's what he's gonna look like in his jersey that's pretty cool we have selected uh, Skylar Phillip preparing for the future. So we got this punter. <laughs> I like, oh, we can actually see some of the tweets and stuff they said about this. The more I watch Skylar Phillip, the more I think he can produce and uh, in a similar role in the NFL. He's a punter. Like, <laughs> Redskins have been looking for another pick. Uh, and they get the 218th selection from the Colts. We literally trade up to take the punter? So, yeah, sorry about James Forrest. Uh, I just don't see you ever being the answer at quarterback. I'm the only answer at quarterback we need, Skip Bayless. I'm the only answer. DeAndre Jackson, Florida A&M. Uh, CJ Anderson. I can't believe we got CJ Anderson to a five-year deal. That is just insane to me. Just insane. 
I'm, I'm excited about this season, man. This season is going to be pretty cool, I think. We got a lot of stuff to look forward to with these new players, the people we drafted, some of the free agents that we got. We lost some players, but there's a lot of cool stuff, I think. So let's advance week to preseason. Sim 10 years. <laughs> no, thank you. I just want to go one week, please. <laughs> just one week. I'm hoping it allows me to skip the preseason. I'm hoping it allows me to skip the preseason. Maybe the preseason can be something... Yeah, wow. They, uh, I have the ability to actually play in the preseason, but preseason just really doesn't matter. I may play the preseason on my own time just to kind of practice with the team. And for the next video, I think we'll actually be... Uh We'll actually be ready for the regular season. So next bad video you guys will see will actually be a week one in season two of Joe Nier's career. We're not going to show you guys the preseason stuff because as we know, preseason just simply does not matter. It's going to be glorified scrimmages basically. And I am probably going to play in a few of them just to uh, practice. Uh, practice around with a new team. So come week one, I will be kind of ready to go and kind of have a feel for my players already. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys all found it entertaining. Although it was basically uh, just going through the offseason here. But it's Joe Nero's offseason. If you want to see the changes that are happening in the league and changes that are happening in the NFL, well, now you know. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.